for me. Hi again, today's tutorial is Emma Frost. Now ignore the goofy eyelash and look at the diamond side. Looks pretty complicated, right? Wrong. It's super simple and just takes a little while. So whether you want to go full frost or just learn some tips on gem painting, keep watching. Starting off with this El Cheapo wig from a discount store. It was called Popstar, but I'm pretty sure it was a ripoff of Gaga or Sia. How much do I look like Gaga now? <laughs> I am just outlining where on my face is going to be covered by the wig, so I don't detail those areas unnecessarily. Then I started my right side, but I remembered that I hadn't covered my eyebrow. I swear I cover them in like every tutorial, but honestly I don't like doing it. It takes forever to dry for me and is never super smooth. Then I continue filling in the diamond area with a mix of teal, blue and white from the Makeup Forever flash palette and I blend it onto my skin. This doesn't need to be super smooth. Now for some Emma Frost makeup that is nothing like what I see in any reference images. Well, the brows are similar, but this contouring is just me trying to emulate the gorgeous cheekbones of a comic book heroine. And the eye makeup is for the most part a simple neutral look to extend my eye and make it look bigger. And Emma Frost seems to have dark brows in some pictures so of course I'm gonna go for that. Then I add way too much highlight and some big eyeliner that's normal at first but then I go in with some white liner and cover that in some fab teal and blue paint for a gradient liner. And I fix up the black liner below it. Now I outline the facets of the diamond on my face. Try to pick planes of your face that are somewhat flat and straight, so your big features may need several facets. And I probably should have done this on the side facing the camera, but I ain't smart. Now to turn this blue area into a diamond. In short, just add a shit ton of triangles, rectangles and general sharp shapes of different colours all over. In the sections near the skin I am filling in the diamond with tan, brown and greys. The grey is from the Mayron Kids face painting kit I think. I often see Emma Frost done with rhinestones all covered along one side of your face, but I am pretty sure that this takes a lot less time and kind of looks cooler in my opinion, as the rhinestones can look a little bumpy or just come off as straight grey. I fill in the inner section of my face in much the same way. This section is surrounded by diamond rather than flesh, so it reflects more blues than the sections that are right next to the flesh, or a half flesh turning into diamond, I don't know. I use Dolphin from Fab and also Alice Blue and Grey from the Mayron palette again and I mix these three colours and also sometimes adding black and white to make a bunch of shades for this diamond area. These shapes can overlap and crisscross but don't let them overlap the edges of the facets you drew. The more of these shapes you add and the more colours and shades, the better this will turn out. You can look at a diamond and try to replicate what shapes you see inside of it and what colours. I referenced mine as I couldn't quite full on copy it for shape, as my face is obviously not cut the same way a diamond is. Also, copying shape for shape takes a bitchin' amount of time. Then I shade with blues in the diamond section and browns in the flesh, defining the faucets from each other. I also use a little bit of white eyeshadow to highlight some of these sections. Then I fill in my lips with Clarity Cosmetics Poolside Party, add shadow lashes to my normal side, and attempt to add these very misbehaving and annoying lashes that are white and stacked. I should have just probably added the shadow lashes and Starry Night to the other side and painted them blue and white. Then I add some white highlights with details from Mayron and continue that diamond texturing onto my lips. Then the diamond was looking really uncolourful. When real diamonds reflect many shades of light, so I added some yellow and orange sections to the diamond. 
Then I put on my Gaga esque wig and contour some big old boobies onto the chest. I am not doing a super detailed costume here, as I assume if you want to do this you will probably be wearing a costume. I add Emma Frost's corset, cape and necktie with the blue, and the X-Men badge with yellow. Then I shadow where the costume sits against my skin with some brown and black shadows, and shade the cape, edge of the neck and rim of the corset. Then I highlighted the costume with white cream paint from Ben Nye, filled in the X-Men badge with red, added some strings to the corset and some white stitch marks along it and the neck thing. And that's it guys, you're a diamondy Emma Frost, complete with a cheapo wig and a terrible eyelash that pretty much ruins all the work you did on that side. I am not salty at all, I swear. Let's just say that lashes burn pretty good. I'm joking, don't burn your lashes guys, dissolve them in battery acid. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you all tomorrow for Pigeon Pie Toba. Stay classy peeps. This damn eyelash just doesn't want to play nice.